Hello people, I'm Vinicius Alves and this is Great Timing 2, Unit 1. On this unit, we are going to work with a grammar point that is the simple present. We are going to have a review on that. So, if you open your books on page 14, you have the grammar point, simple present, review. Let's check on exercise number 2 that we have a table. And then on this table, we have affirmative, negative, questions and short answers. Let's take a look here on the affirmative that we have I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. So, uh, while working with the simple present, what you have to, to have in mind, what you need to have in mind is that the simple present is the most simple structure in English. That's because we had subject, verb complement. Let's take a look on the example here of the affirmative column. So we have subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, and complement. Another thing is whenever we have the third person singular, that is he, she, and it, the verb has to come with s. Like for example, he likes milk or she likes milk, okay? The other uh, uh, persons, we keep the same verb on the original form. So we have like, I like milk, you like milk. Whenever we have negative, we are going to use don't or doesn't. So, for example, I have I don't like milk or you don't like milk. He, she, it, we are going to use doesn't, and the verb goes back to the original form. So, for example, he doesn't like milk. For questions, questions we are going to use do and does. So, he, she, and it, we are going to use does, and the verb goes back to the original form. So we have, oh, do I like milk? Or does she like milk? All right. Then for the short answers, if you answer in the affirmative, we are going to use do or does. If you have your short answer in the negative, we are going to use don't or doesn't. For example, a do you like milk? Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. If you have he, she, it, we have to answer with does or doesn't. For example, does she like milk? Yes, she does. Or, no, she doesn't. Then you ask your teacher a question. Hey, teacher, when do I use the simple present? So, you are going to use the simple present to talk about situations that you do with frequency, that you do every day or every week or every month. For example, I go to school every day or I don't go to school every day. I stay at home. You can also say on the third person, for example, my mom cooks pasta every Sunday or my daddy drives to work every day, okay? We can also use the simple present to talk facts that are true. For example, the sun shines every day or elephants live in Africa and Asia. If you go back on your books on page 13, you have a quiz, okay? The name of this quiz is Do you take good care of yourself? Then we have uh, seven questions on this quiz, okay? All those questions, they are related. They are done in the simple present. So they have the questions in the simple present, uh, mainly using do, okay? Also the answers with the simple present. 
So I would like you to take some minutes, take a notebook and a pencil, and you can uh, do this quiz by yourself. Whenever you finish, you have here your score. According to your answers, A, B, or C, you are going to have uh, an answer for your test, like if you're really good to take care of yourself. So, take a minute to do this quiz. After all, we come back. After the quiz with the seven questions, okay, I would like you to work with this uh, section here, think values, okay? So, on this exercise, you're going to tell me which questions in the quiz tell us that these things are important for us. So, on letter A, we have uh, being with people. So, this topic here is related to the people that you have contact with. So, if you check here on your quiz, uh, the book gave us as an example question number seven. Let's check question number seven. So, on number seven, we have which of these things do you do most? Talk with friends and family, meet friends online, watch TV and play computer games. So, this question is related to the time that you spend with people. So, the book gave us as an answer letter A. I would like you to check the other questions and see what relation can you see uh, with enjoying exercise, sleep, getting rest, giving your brain exercise, being positive and having interests. So, take some minutes to associate the questions with the letters from A to G. Now guys, after the quiz, let's go back to page 14, and then on the page 14, once now you are very familiar with uh, the simple present, I would like you to work with exercises. One, okay, number two, the rule part, and exercise number three. All those three exercises are related to the simple present.